is this place? I don't think I like that cave of time thing. Can I help you? Ah. Oh. Come, have a seat. You look confused. Yeah, I think I am. Thank you. Ooh. Hi. Hi. Nice place you got here. Thank you. Yeah, got, a, got these masks. Uh, I'm Sheriff Stephen Jay. Hello, I'm Susan Barrett Merrill. Susan. Hello. Can I call you Susan? Yes. I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to intrude. Um, but anyway, what, what you doing? I'm just spinning sheep's wool. I just went out to an island called Flat Island, and we rounded up a flock of wild sheep that live on the island and eat seaweed all winter. Really? Sheep that eat seaweed? Yes. Are these kind of sheep you have for food or you have for their fleece? Mostly for their fleece because it's so beautifully clean and long and lustrous. This is what I use to weave the masks. This place is full of masks. Yes. So what is this? What do you call that? This is a spinning wheel that actually makes the yarn, pulls it onto this bobbin as I'm pushing with my feet and it uh, spins it, it twists it and so that it makes a yarn out of it and it's very strong and then I ply it, which I double it like this and you can see that it makes a two-ply yarn and that's what I use to weave the masks with. Tell me about these masks. Well, I've been a weaver for about 50 years and I had a dream one night and in the dream I was given one of these masks um, and I thought, this is so fascinating. I'm just sort of curious how you would weave one of these. And so in the dream I was shown how to uh, weave the mask and told that it was gonna help other people. So I'm learning about how it's helping other people. And I've discovered that there are no masks like this that I can find in history. And you know what? what? I believe you. <laughs> so can you wear these things? Absolutely. The back looks like this. So it has a head piece and then a head dress. And so you can put it on like a hat like this. Oh, I see. <laughs> Or you can put it over your face. But really, they're used for fiber sculpture in your home. Fiber sculpture? Mm-hmm. Being a fiber artist means that you're an artist using grasses or any kind of material that can be spun. One of the most ancient fibers that's spun are the grasses known as flax. Flax? Mm-hmm. How do you spell that? F-L-A-X. Flax. Flax. And it turns into linen when you uh, spin it. It's okay. a grass that has little blue flowers. It can be grown most anywhere. Actually, the inside of every mask is linen, which is flax. So it has a linen warp, and then the weft is woven with this wool from the sheep. The weft? The warp are the vertical threads on the loom, and the weft are your horizontal threads. This is called three-dimensional tapestry weaving, I found out later, oh. after I sort of looked up to see what it was. And one of the things that I've been doing with kids lately is using a notebook. Really? You work with children? Yes. Oh, well, that's really I interesting. Know. So on the cover, you can put this in your backpack. Mm -hmm. And I just take yarn, and uh, in this pencil case, I have all the things you need to weave with. So you can warp up the cover of this notebook yeah. and you can weave masks on it. Uh, what's in there that you can weave out of? Well, what I do is take some yarn. So we're going to take what I've just spun right here. Okay. And we're going to just tie it on to the cover of this notebook. Okay. And what's really fun is that you can do this in the classroom. And it comes with a whole curriculum of how to um, be a good person, be a good human being. And it's about joining. It's about learning how we can work together to create something new. So in your little pencil case here are four pencils, four rubber bands, one pair of scissors, a needle, mm -hmm. a shuttle, and a six inch ruler. 
And we're gonna be using all of those things to create your weaving on the cover of your notebook. So this is going to be your weaving. And the first thing we're weaving is a friendship bracelet. So this pencil goes under here. Mm -hmm. This one comes up here like mm -hmm. this at the top. And now we're gonna be weaving on these four warp threads. So this is your warp right here. So the warp, this is the warp. Yes. Gotcha. So that's the vertical threads. Okay. And on these four vertical threads, we're gonna be weaving one inch. So I make what's called a cocoon. And the cocoon is wrapping it around my hand like okay. this. And then I pinch one end and I just wrap it around and make a long shaft, I call it. Okay. Wrapping it around like that, breaking it off. And this is my cocoon, a oh. little cocoon of yarn. Yeah, I see. Like a bone, it looks like a dog bone to me. Yeah, anyway, like okay. a dog bone. You call it a cocoon, I'll call it That's a dog right. bone. That's right. So now you're gonna just lift every other thread like this okay. and put this yarn through. So weaving is really, literally, about just every other thread you're lifting. And you're going back and forth, back and forth like this. And we're gonna be weaving just one inch in the middle of this um, warp so that you have about one inch like that. Mm -hmm. On either end, we're gonna put a bead and then we're gonna twist the ends and you're gonna get a chance to sing and do a dance about calling it a friendship bracelet. Yeah, count me in on that one. <laughs> And you can use your six inch ruler as your, what you call, you can open up the warp like that. Oh, I see. Okay. So these are all cool. things that you can have in the well, classroom. Well, yeah, weave do a weaving thing. Okay, so weaving. here oh, I, you yeah, go. I'll see if you can really do that. Okay, I'm getting my glasses out of my pocket oh, now. Oh, glasses. Bring yes, up the glasses. Yes, because I like to see better what I'm yeah. doing. Yeah, yeah, it's always nice <laughs> if you can see what you're doing. So here we go. This is the tail right here, and this is how we're weaving. So back and forth, back and forth. I like to use my fingers, but I put that in there just in case you want to use that. So every other one you're lifting up and you're just pushing it together like that, bringing it together. Now it's over this one on the right, so we're gonna just lift these two up push it under there and push these down. How do you tie it off? You're done weaving. So now, how do you now tie it I'm off? done weaving. And so I use my needle. Here's okay. my needle. And I'm just gonna weave the end back in like this. And then this end gets woven, but I need a pair of scissors. So I'm opening your scissors like that. My scissors. Does that mean I get to take it when I leave? Yes. Oh, this is your goodies. notebook. I intruded on you when I get goodies. <laughs> yeah, thank you. All right. Absolutely. <laughs> so we're going to just needle back in the other end. And this is the fun part is that you're going to watch this bracelet just come alive when you take it off the loom. So now we've needled back in both ends like that. And here is this part. And we're going to take your pencils out. Okay. And we're going to basically whisper into this little weaving. Hello, friend, I'm here. And the weaving absorbs what you say. It's kind of amazing that this friendship bracelet is going to be then cut out of the back like this. So we're just cutting the knot out. And then we're gonna be twisting this and you can see how it twists. And it kind of by itself will twist like that. And when you put it on your wrist, I'm going to say, hello, friend, I'm here in Swahili. Jumbo Rafiki Niko Hapa. Jumbo Rafiki Niko Hapa. Ah, yeah. Hello, friend. Uh -huh. This is for you. Oh. This is your friendship bracelet. Thank you. Yes. So, um, okay, well, then you do all this weaving and um, then you make these masks. I have masks over here that are woven with banana bark. Banana bark? Yes. And how does that work? The same thing or? It's exactly the same. I also have used 
bark from different kinds of trees. Basswood bark works. You can use any kind of grasses. You can use seaweed. You can use leaves. You can use sticks. And what do you call these masks? I call them Zati masks because... Zati? Yes, Z-A-T-I. It's an Urdu word for a meaning from the inside out or intrinsic. So you got these Zati masks and all different kinds of masks. I look around here and got the, the one that kind of startled me up there, that mm -hmm. orange one, and then yes. you got this one over here. And that one was made with matter roots. They're all dyed with plants. Really? The one over here with the hat? And the... Yes, that's from the willow tree right here in back of us. Really? Yes. Man, you just weave everything. You're a weaving fool, aren't you? I am. <laughs> I love to weave. Crazy weaver it's over here. It's such a natural thing to do, and I think we all need to try weaving. That sounds like a lot of fun. And and you got these ones over here, and you got the ones there with that shield. Got a shield yes. with it. You wield a shield. That one is called Singing the Spirit Home. And it's actually two drummers drumming the spirit home. Oh, so that's a little drum there? Mm -hmm. So what's going on with the ones that are kissing up here? <laughs> Those are couples. That's ebb and flow. And they have a Mongolian uh, inside of yurts or gares. In Mongolia, the houses where they live in the brown houses uh -huh. with wool, they're made out of wool. And they have those patterns in the inside of their house. I can see you're very talented and I didn't realize that you could weave so many things into, you know, weave stuff. Well, now I'm gonna show you the earth loom, which is outside because That's I- That's not the earth loom? No, this, they're all earth looms because I think they help you to remember the earth. So here's the notebook earth loom. And then I weave the masks on the journey earth loom, which is about this big and it's made out of seven sticks. And then the large garden earth loom that we're gonna weave on next is planted in the ground and they're on we're a gonna, lot of playgrounds. So we're gonna weave on this garden earth loom. Earth loom. That's right. We are? Yes. I might have things to do. <laughs> well, we'll I'm just, trapped. We'll just go look at it. All right, we're, which way? Which way are we going? It's right outside of the- That way? Yes. We're going that way. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll go oh, I'll go first and open the door for you. Ah, thanks. After you. This is the earth loom. The garden earth loom that's planted in the ground and is connected to the ground. And it, wow. these are her vertical threads, the warp. So the weft material is this material, this blue material, you're going horizontally. That's right, that's the weft. That's the weft. And the warp is made out of garden jute that you can get at the hardware store. I see. So I always put a red thread in my weavings to, sh to show me where the center is. Yeah, well, I put glasses in every room so I can see. <laughs> anyway, I get you, I get you. Reference point. Yes, so that you know. And notice how this is brown, green, brown, green. So that it makes it really easy for me to figure out how to weave and which ones to pick up since I'm picking up every other thread. So now I'm picking up the green ones. So I know that I can just pick up all the green threads like that and put this through. And now I can pick up all the brown ones. So it makes weaving really simple. I see, so you do, so you go around the brown ones and you get the one end. That's right. See, I see you're pulling the brown ones out. That's right. And then you're going back this way and you do it on the back and you go and all the greens are gonna come out. That's you right. You pull them towards you. That's right. Oh, that's smart. So it makes weaving really simple. And then when you go back this way, you go brown. So you're going brown, green, brown, mm -hmm. green. Mm hmm that's right. You wanna try it? Really? Yes. I'll try it. Okay. I'm gonna try it. <laughs> okay. Hi. Right. so now, you're gonna pull out all the brown ones. All the brown. Mm -hmm. We're pulling out the brown. Okay, here comes the brown, and then what do I do? I come this way. You're gonna push it between, you're gonna pull those out, and then yeah. push it right where your fingers are. Okay, push it right there, okay. So hold the end of it. 
Got it. That's it. And you're going to put it through that slot oh, here. Oh, It's called yeah. the shed. The, the shed. Mm -hmm. This is the shed. That's it. <laughs> Perfect. Hey, we have a dog that sheds. Okay, so anyways, <laughs> what about this brown one? I pull now that out? Now you pull that one out. That one? And the this, red one. And you're the gonna, red one. The red is with the brown. So red. Is, it, is the red with the green? No. <laughs> okay. And now do I pull it in this? Do mm -hmm. I, I go in this way? That's right. So everything's going to go this way. That's right. So oh, it's all going okay. from all right. right to left now. Okay. And then... Um, and then you're pulling out the other brown All ones. browns. And now, that's it. All brown. And I'm going this yep. way. Yep. That's all right. right. Right through the shed. That's Good job. Right through the yes. shed. Thank Hi, you. You're welcome. Right through this the shed. Great. <laughs> okay. Well, that yeah. was that was pretty fun. Nice work. Well, thank you That's very much, it. Susan. Yes. Well, thank you. And thank you for showing me all of this. I appreciate it. Well, it's fun to weave, and I think you're already a good weaver. Whoa! I can weave. Okay. Well, thank you very much, and uh, I, I should get going. I'm sorry I intruded on you, but. Um, Anyway, let me... My pleasure. I was glad to meet you today. Well, let me get up and I'm getting a hug. <laughs> and to think, I thought you were weird when I first got here. Uh-huh. You never can tell. You can't. We have to know that we're all brothers and sisters somewhere. Oh. There you go. Oh, hey. my hat. Oh, I'm your my hat. <laughs> At least I remember to button my button. Yeah, there you go. All right, well, thank you very much, and I guess... I'll be on my way. Thank you for visiting today. Thank you. You take care. You too. All right. Bye bye. Many oh, happy another times. hug. It's all about the hugs. <laughs> oh. All right. Which way? That, that that way. Yes. We're going this way. Okay.